have over behind us here and the support of Mooney Valley Council. Myself and my team, uh, the Wurundjeri Narrab Rangers and Habitat and Land Management to do a different style of burning to what uh, people currently see. Increasing the biodiversity of what's within this small area by using indigenous land management methods and, and the main one of that is fire. Um, we believe we can make this a unique little ecosystem as an example of how different land management practices can improve um, the health of our parks and, and uh, reserves and uh, forests, national parks, but small, small little reserves where people wander through and want to see the little wildflowers, want to see a multitude of bird species, um, uh, but then also to get them to understand that using indigenous methods is not frightening, it's not um, invasive, and it's also economical. Understand indigenous burning, you have to understand indigenous people. We believe that fire has a spirit, and if you upset that spirit, then fire will upset you. So, you use a single point ignition, let the fire trickle through the bush, just like you would let water trickle through. We can't control rain. Uh, we can't. No one can control a fire, but you can manage a fire if you respect it. And if you treat fire as a living entity, as a spirit, and you respect it, fire will treat you fairly. takes money for anybody to undertake these type of activities due to the huge fear of fire. Um, but it's now Friends of Steel Creek, Mooney Valley City Council and various other agencies are starting to recognise this as a valid land practice but we are not volunteers. Um, we do have to get paid, it's what I actually do for a living. Um, so thank you very much Friends of Steel Creek and Mooney Valley City Council.